Hey, my name is Phil, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new review widget inside of Go High Level. Now, this is a very cool feature as it allows you to take the reviews directly from your Google business account and your Facebook business page, and it puts them in a nice, neat little widget that you can either use inside of Go High Level or you can embed into any other website builder. So let's go ahead, jump behind the screen, and I'll show you how to use it. Okay, so here we are inside of the dashboard. Now setting up the review widget is so incredibly easy with high level. First of all, choose the sub account you want to work in, come across and make sure inside of the launch pad you've integrated your Google My Business as well as your Facebook page. This is going to be how we get the reviews. Then simply come down to reputation and luckily this is an old account but it does have some reviews so it's still going to work. So what you want to do is come across to widgets and this is where we can customize our widget now by default we have the legacy template here if it's later on that may even be a different default template but don't worry what we're going to do is click on create new and this is going to bring up some different options that we can use so the first thing to note is you've got your review source if you only want to use google reviews you can uncheck facebook and vice versa if you want facebook only and then we have four different options of how we want our widget to look so first of all we have list if you want the full width version you also have a little scroll bar next we have grid which is a four by four type of scenario which looks kind of nice we also have masonry which is basically the same thing except it's not uh, as set in stone in terms of the height and then finally we have legacy now below that we have max number of reviews so if you only wanted say 20 on your page you could just have 20 or even if you wanted less or more it doesn't matter of course if you want unlimited just leave it blank and then finally at the bottom here we have powered by and what this allows you to do is add in this little powered by section and while it might not make sense on your own website if if you're using this for clients sites then this is a good opportunity to leave a backlink from their site to your site and it also gives the visitors to that website an idea of who these people are using for marketing if they like this widget they may come and check you out and that could get you more business so for this example I'm going to choose grid I think grid is nice and neat you can see everything is the same height so this looks good and let's continue on the customization so the next step is going to be content and let me just quickly tell you what this means so where it says what our clients say about us this is the heading so if we go inside here say what our customers are saying you will see that it's actually just going to change this text here right so it's really simple really easy you don't even necessarily have to change it and then description is the same thing once again but just below this text here so whatever you might want to say it could go on there you don't usually need anything it's pretty self-explanatory what this review tab is for now below that we have the header which is of course this section and you can toggle if you want to have the rating which is the rating here you can also choose how many reviews so if you don't want them to be shown here that's fine just uncheck check it and then finally write a review button you can also turn that off you can turn off the entire heading if you wish now the reason you would maybe remove these is if you just wanted to show that hey this is the type of result I'm getting for my customers this is how it's feeling maybe you don't want to have the write a review button here and just to let you know this directly links to your Google my business page so for some people it will make sense for others it may not especially if you're only using Facebook so what I would do is probably just take away the write a review button and that is more than enough for me so let's continue let's go to appearance now now we have the opportunity to change the coloring to match your branding which is pretty cool self-explanatory you've got a light theme you've also got a dark theme and then you can just go fully custom plus we also have the option to change our font to match the branding as well very straightforward now the final step to all of this is settings and you can see what are the review elements you want to display so do you want to display the date and the date is of course there We've also got the reviewer icon, which is the one down there. And then finally, exclude reviews containing no description. What that means is if I say got a five-star review here, but no one wrote any words, it might look kind of strange. It'll be like an empty gap inside of my review tab. So you can click on that and it's going to remove all blank reviews. 
So very straightforward, we're ready to rock and roll. So we've got two options to actually install this inside of our website. If we are using the high level builder, then the widget in the back end is going to be ready for us to use. But if we're using it externally on a th another type of builder, then we wanna go ahead and copy this code. So for this example, I'm just going to use the high level builder. So go ahead, click on save. Now we need to name it. I'm gonna just call this Intact Media Reviews, right? and click make it live this means that this is going to be the template that you use inside of the go high level builder so click on save right that has been done and our new widget has been added to the save widgets tab you can make, create multiple ones inside of here too so you can quickly switch between but make sure the one you want to use has live on it and you can choose that while saving so now let's go and add that to a website. So I've got a marketing agency template that is inside of the high level templates. And if you scroll down, you will see we have inside here a manual section where we can add in reviews manually. Now this is kind of annoying because you'd constantly have to update it. Luckily, we can get rid of these now and just add in the new review widget. To add that, just go to add widgets, scroll down and look for the reviews widget. Go ahead, drag it and drop it where you want it to go. So I'm gonna put it here. And what you're gonna see is this list layout come up. Now don't worry, this is just a caching issue. So I'm gonna go ahead, click on save. And what you'll notice when we actually go in the preview, it's going to show you what the live version is. So now this is saved. Let's go ahead, have a look at what it looks like. So here's the website. If we scroll down just a little bit, we can see here is the manual review tab. So if we wanted to add these or update these, we're gonna have to go ahead do it. Uh, manually but now we've got our automated version so this is ready to go we can even style it a little bit more with css if we want but this is looking very fresh now the cool thing about this too is it's going to automatically update every time you get a new review it's going to be added to the list it's going to keep things up to date looking fresh and keeping relevant so there it is, that is the new high level review widget. It only takes a few minutes to set up and now you have an automated review widget, which is going to add in the new reviews when they come instead of having to manually do it. This increases conversions, keeps things relevant and just keeps your content fresh. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.